Deep South EDC today. Fuck. Deep South EDC coming at you. Today's presentation. God damn it, I mixed myself up. All right. Three, two, one. Deep South EDC coming at you. Looking thirsty. Today's episode is all about water. Coming up next. We're back. It's hurricane season right now in South Louisiana. And in New Orleans, one of the first things that goes down during the power outages are the pump stations. So getting clean water is usually priority. They usually will put out a boil advisory, but some people don't have a way to boil water. Some people have electric stoves and things like that. So we're gonna go over today uh, some ways to get safe drinking water that don't include boiling water. This is also applicable for other situations where you may not be able to get a fire going, you don't have access to things like that. Um, so we'll go through them. Some of them are pretty cost effective. Most of them are. Um, the easiest thing to get is just a container and probably one of these life straw water filters. These cost about $12 and they're really easy to use. All you do is fill up your container with your water, open up the bottom and the top, stick it in and suck. The drawback to this is is you have to suck really hard and after a while your jaw gets pretty tired. Um, <laughs> uh, the other thing is, is it's not very versatile. You can only use it in pretty much that one application. The other filter that I prefer to use is the Sawyer Mini. The Sawyer Mini has a couple of different features, which makes it very versatile. The first feature is it can be used just like the life straw stuck into your water vessel, comes with a straw and you can suck. It also has these nipples on it. So if you're running like a camelback or another type of water bladder, you can cut your hose and attach your hose on here and just follow the flow arrow and you have a uh, filter on your camelback where you can fill that with uh, any type of water that you come across. Um, the other thing about the Sawyer that's really awesome is it has these threads here so you could thread on any like soda bottle on there and it will also fit on a water hose spigot. So if you're still getting water to your house but you have no way to boil it you do have a way to filter it. You can screw this onto your hose outside and you can filter water that way. Um, it's a forest filter, so the water pressure hopefully should be enough to push out the, the water after it's filtered. The Sawyer Mini is not as budget friendly. They're going for now about $30. Sometimes you can find them on sale, but uh, right now they're getting up there. Uh, one thing I like to have around, or I like to carry with my water bottle, I prefer the Nalgene. Uh, they have measurements here, which I will touch on in a second. Um, but I like to have the cup, I think it's about 16 ounces. But if you do have a fire or a way to boil water, you're stuck in your house, you do have a gas stove. And for some reason, you don't have any pots or pans. Uh, <laughs> there you go. Uh, so I like to keep a little nesting cup with my water bottle. Um, this is pretty budget friendly. This is a nice little setup. The bottles are about $10. The cup is about $4. And you could do uh, the live straw for $12. So that's a pretty nice, just basic starter setup. You could uh, upgrade your live straw a little bit later. You save up a little bit. Go to your Sawyer Mini. I got a brand new one here. I'll show you what it comes with. So it comes with your filter, comes with the syringe, comes with the straw piece here. Uh, that way you get your size like the live straw. 
And then it comes with this bag. This bag is pretty cool because you can fill it with your water. You screw on your filter and you can actually force uh, force filter your waters. So you can also like suck on it uh, like a water bottle. So that's what comes with the Sawyer. So it's a little packet. Uh, the syringe here, so when you're done, you got to backflow it clean out, to clean out the dirty water. What you'll do is you'll just... Uh, Put it here, make sure we're flowing out, and just push the water out. That just preserves the life of your filter. All right, a couple of other cheap and easy things to do or to have around as a just in case. Um, we have these iodine tablets. So this is kind of like last ditch. I don't really have any other options. Um, things have gone really bad. The hurricane has messed things up and this is all I got left. So we have two different bottles of tablets here. Um, you want to put two tablets to one quart of water, which is one of these, which is why I like the Nalgene's because we have the measurements here. Um, you'll shake it and wait five minutes. Um, and then what you'll do is you'll add the second tablets. And what those do is those neutralize all the iodine and get rid of all the chemical taste from the first one. Um, if you do not have access to these, Another thing you might have in your med kit, your med cabinet, first aid kit is iodine tincture. 2% um, is usually the go-to is what or what most people have. Uh, the rule of thumb for the iodine tincture um, is five drops per quart. So add five drops to your full bottle here, um, wait 30 minutes and it should be good to go. If your water is cloudy, you can double the amount that you add. You can add 10 drops um, and just let it sit for 30 minutes. Um, and this has a dropper here that's pretty cool. It just drops right off the stick. You can just count, count your drops right in there. Um, what I don't have on the table, but what every household has is bleach. Uh, this last thing I want to touch on this is called a Silcock key. If things get rough and you have to go looking for water, most commercial buildings, um, especially if you're in a city like I am, will have those like water spigots that come out of the walls, but they don't have like a valve turn on them. And they have like a little, what looks like a little key box or a special tool that it'll take. Well, this is that special tool. Um, this tool will also open up like those closed metal boxes that are on the sides of buildings. Sometimes those boxes are actually what's holding the water valve inside. So you have a bunch of these different size tools and different size like sockets. Um, so these will turn on the water to those buildings and will also unlock the boxes to gain access to those. Uh, uh, areas or locations where the water spigots are being stored. Uh, all right, the last thing I want to touch on, everything else here was pretty budget friendly. You can find most of the things for under $15 uh, with the exception of this. Um, this not so budget friendly thing is a metal canteen with its own cup. And it also has its own stove here. So you can boil your own water if you have like those little fuel cubes or, you know, sticks in the backyard, you're out in the woods, uh, sticks like that. So this is actually from the Pathfinder store. 
uh, Dave Canterbury's store. You guys should check him out. Tons of knowledge there. Um, this thing probably ran me about $80 10 years ago. Um, so I couldn't tell you the price now. I'm sure it's gone up. But something like this is very durable. It's very sturdy. Inside the canteen, I'm not sure if the camera will pick it up, but it does have like the measurements uh, for your water in, uh, I believe it's ounces and milliliters. Um, and it all fits together nice and easy. Uh, the little pot has a little lid that it comes with, so that's really cool. Then it all fits together. And this actually comes with this really cool bag here that everything will fit in. So with something like this, you can actually build your own little water kit that you keep in your backpack, you know. Um, you may not have to use it, but it's better to have it and not need it. You know. Um, you could also start out small. You, If you don't drink your water every day out of your Nalgene bottle, carry your empty bottle with your filters inside and your chemicals and your tool. That way you have it. Keep, your, keep it inside your cup. Um, keep it in your bag. It's pretty lightweight unless it's full of water. It um, doesn't take up too much space, and uh, it's have it, you, you'll have it if you need it. Um, I use my water bottle every day, so I would keep all of my kit in something like this. So it's just a bag. I'll keep my, uh, my tablets in. I'll keep my tincture in. Uh, my filter fits in here. Um, I also got a lighter in here and a pocket knife and a flashlight. So you can keep some other small pieces of kit. Uh, keep your tool in here. And you can stick this in your bag. This is nice and light. Um, if you're out trying to find water, you know, this will also uh, snap onto your belt. This is that molly webbing. So if you do it correctly, it's not going to come off. Even when you're running, jumping, crawling. Uh, it's Lock's pretty secure and you should be good to go. Um, you can also lock this to the outside of your uh, bag as well. That's the one cool thing about these molly straps is they're really versatile. Um, anyway, that's the presentation. Make sure you drop a like, leave a rumble. Um, if there's anything else you think I should add, I should take out. Um, if you guys have had any different things in your kit that's worked for you let me know leave a comment um we'll see you guys on the next one